eyeball tattooed on an eyeball. It's never been done before until today. I feel great. Everything went according to plans, and I feel great about it. I'm looking forward to the patch coming off tomorrow. William Chris Watson got hit in the eye with the point of a football almost 20 years ago. He lost his vision, and over time, his eye has changed color, something that's made Chris feel relatively insecure. So he's been hoping for a change, and that change has finally arrived. A team of talented individuals at Park Avenue LASIK in New York City have tattooed a color-matched iris and pupil to Chris's eyeball. Now, Dr. Chin, a certified corneal tattoo artist and eye specialist, took the gun and made this happen today. So this is amazing, Dr. Chin, and I understand you're just stepping out of surgery now. How did it go? It went great. So uh, last week we did the pre-procedure where we took off the scar with the solution, a dissection, and I also did a laser PTK. And today was the uh, tattoo to color match his iris with his other eye, and it went super. Uh, it was a really bad scar, really thick, so I had to take off the calcium manually then I had to dissolve the calcium, and I actually had to do the laser to smooth out the surface so the ink would take. So that was about a one-hour procedure uh, that we did a week ago. Uh, yeah, the cornea is the most uh, sensitive part of your body. It's got the most pain receptors of any part of your body. So we blocked him. We uh, injected him with an anesthetic behind his eyeball, and then we also used topical numbing medication. So he didn't feel anything. Now, what about color matching? How does that all work? I had a tattoo artist and uh, he came in with different inks and we came in with a black and a brown. We just mixed the brown with the black and then I did a little bit of a tattoo. Then we checked the other eye and I kept on doing that until I got a color match. Once I got the color match, I, I just did the, the entire iris. The final result really looks very good. And what about the fact that, I mean, could he not have just used contact lenses? or Was that not an option for him? He did try contacts, and also there's a, a thicker contact that you can do in these cases called a scleral shell. It's a thick plastic thing. The only thing is, if you're blind in one eye, uh, people don't really want to put the thing in and out every day of their lives just for cosmesis. I would say, in my experience, I've, I've, I've done laser on like 20,000 people. I, I would say the women do this more because they're more concerned. The guys, they, they kind of don't care after a while, and then it's a situation where the wife's like, honey, can you please put your eye in? We're going out to a party. Yes, I would like to thank Dr. Chen for this process being done. And like I said, I didn't know about it first until my doctor recommended it. He said Dr. Chen was one of the best. So I'm here to get it done, and I'm very thankful for him. And he's also doing it at a discount for me, and I appreciate that very much. Okay, well, so uh, obviously uh, William Chris's life is about to change. What's next for you? Well, on the horizon, uh, we're going to also try to uh, do the first laser vision correction for a dog. I'm a big dog lover, and my dog has actually raised about $2,000 for the ASPCA. We want to find a nearsighted dog uh, and laser him and treat him therapeutically. The next thing I want to do is I'm also going to be the first person to laser myself. I had LASIK myself, and I have some night glare and halos. The newer procedure, LASIK, can fix that, and it's also safer because it doesn't involve cutting. Wow. Well, we'll be watching when you do that. Thanks so much for talking to us today, Dr. Chin. Thank you very much. My pleasure.